So a few weeks ago, I've spent almost three months renovating an apartment for my daughter, uh, physical labor. My other businesses, consulting business, is not being that busy right now. And uh, fortunately, I have hobbies that are um, productive. Uh, I'm not that good at them, but I do enjoy them. And the apartment has turned out really cool. But we were having lunch, my daughter, my wife, and I, uh, in this little village there's a great little pizzeria right next to my daughter's house. And they, uh, uh, a man came to the, we were sitting outside, and he came to the kind of the end of the restaurant and looked at me and said hello, and I said hello, and I said, Nicole, do you know this guy? Because he was walking towards us then. Now, the conspicuous thing was he had a turban on, which is conspicuous in these little Swiss villages. That's just not something you see every day. And he came and asked if he could sit down, and uh, we got talking, and he was... Uh, uh, I'm going to say begging for money, but he was asking for money, we found out later, for his school in India. And he had pictures and things. And whether that's for what it was for or not, he offered a service for the money he was asking for. And he told you exactly how much he wanted, which I found really interesting. And uh, he said, can I talk to you for a few minutes? And he started talking about different things in my life. And he said, your business has not been very good lately. He said, it's been about three years. And I thought, well, you know, yeah, that's true. Uh, and I didn't know whether to believe him or not. Um, Nicole is usually real skeptical about stuff like this, but she seemed quite entranced by it. And he, one, at one point, he was going through different things that have happened in my life and, you know, fairly accurate. And I wasn't sure whether to believe him or not. And uh, he said, you know, think of an animal and, and tell me what it is. And I said, you know, a cow. And we're in Switzerland. He said, no, a domestic animal. And he said, I said, okay, a dog. And he had a piece of paper. Twice he had a piece of paper wrapped up in his hand. And he, and he put this crumpled up piece of paper in my hand. And I opened it. And the first thing I saw was dog. And I thought, big deal. But then underneath it was Mia's birth month and birth year. Nicole's birth month and birth year. And my birth month and birth year. And it was written in pencil. you know, in a, And we had not discussed our birthdays or anything. Uh, it was a fascinating half an hour. You know, we walked away. He told Nicole things about her. He said, my business will start to take off again in November. So we're at the end of October. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, but uh, my wife, like I said, who can be real kind of Swiss, uh, I, I think it was Bill Bryson who said the national um, saying in Switzerland is trust nobody. Yeah, but she sat with this man and listened to him because... She said a few years ago, and it's got to be 10 years ago at least, uh, when she'd taken over her father's business, one of these people came into the business and told both of the salesmen they wouldn't be working there. And these guys were lifers. They wanted to work there. And within a few months, both of them were gone. They were doing something else. And, and so she said, I, I was real willing to sit and listen and talk to them. Uh, I don't know how they get their information. Like I, you, you know that I believe in different dimensions and different at time, space, continuums, and things like that. Uh, so maybe that's it. But it was a fun day, interesting day. Uh, seeking from a seek. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com